Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy with me, Dr. Munchkin. If you've been following along, last time you went to Jack Don's tomb, explored that, killed a bunch of spiders, got a lot of goods. I did clean out my inventory prior to starting this one. But now we have a particular mission to go learn to fly. We gotta go to flying class. So we're finally gonna learn how to use the broom. Now, unfortunately, Quidditch was canceled this semester, which is a uh, sad thing. But at least we can learn to fly and actually get around a bit faster because running all over the place has been quite a drag. And then maybe we'll explore some more secrets of the castle or go do something else. But before we get started, if you guys like this content and would like to see more, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. And with that, let's go look at our broom. Alright, so it's right over here. Yes. Who needs to use the path? Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. All right. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms this are This will take some property. getting used to. I want them returned in one piece. <laughs> this is brilliant. Nice. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I want to be able to dash. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> That wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. That was a really cool scene in the first movie. Once in a while. <laughs> I wonder what kind of upgrades I can get for this. Whether or not I can go faster. Or... Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Or maybe even do the de-doops. 
It's like I'm not one to listen to the teacher. Say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the garden. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? The famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. <laughs> That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Dismount here. What? Why can't I land? This is all the dismount. There we go. That was like. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Not ready. Flying class is complete. Now we got a nice chunk of XP too. So the question is, where to now? Well, we can check to see uh, what class we have available. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire maxima and endurance potions and use them simultaneously. Oh, and get to Pulso. Nice, that's a new spell. I think we have to go purchase them. And then... 
some more dedalian keys, gobstones, ghosts of our loves, and then spell practice. Well, let's go do a little bit of spell and practice first, and then we'll head over to Hogsmeade and buy our new broom. Oh my gosh, there's so many things, but I want to go over here. Yeah, so we'll go to Hogsmeade, buy a new broom, and maybe buy those potions? So then we can learn Depulso. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your stuff. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Alright, let's uh, get our spell casting on. Alright, so what do you want me to do? Nice. Excellent fall. Next up, chopping block. I've done that one already. I was like, is it gonna fall to the ground? That one couldn't keep up. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. All right. More side quests completed, more XP. We have uncollected rewards, but as I said, we will now be going to Hogsmeade. Let's go buy ourselves a nice broom. Well, at least a starter broom of our own. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Oh, I just randomly went over here. Oh, there it is. I was like, I just went the wrong way. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Don't mind me. I'm just taking things. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? All right, first, let's go to sell anything. Oh, uh, that actually gives me better gear. Nice. Well, they're all the same price. So let's find one that looks cool. 
That item is of the highest quality. Mm, not liking the house room too much. Uh, no. That item is of the highest quality. It's kind of nice looking. That item is of one. the highest quality. This is kind of an old school. I think I like the one with the flames. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Oh, I do have an endurance potion. Don't have a maximum potion. Or a focus potion, okay. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Alright, now I gotta go to the Quidditch pitch. But first, I need to go... What? Well, I wanted to go here. Reason being, we want to buy the other potion, the Maxima and the Focus Potion, and perhaps the spells well, to use them. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance oh. at all? Revelio. Well, I I would like this first. Thank you. You are of great assistance. Now we can chat. What can I do for you today? Alrighty, so if I go down here. Buy one of those. A wise decision. Thank and you. And I already have an Endurus. I need a one of those. I scroll up. A wise decision. Buy that. Thank and you. we'll go ahead and buy the focus potion as well. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What is the side quest that I have? Oh, the Room of Requirement. Oh, that'll be good. Daily Keys, Flight Test. That's what we're doing, though. Hmm. That's a simple side quest. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need I'm already getting myself started. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. 
I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Oh, I have the invisibility potion. Okay, so... I could actually craft maximum potions. Cannot craft the endurance potion. Alrighty. Quest. We are still going to do the flight test. We will take care of that at some point. I need to go. Let's go to my gear real fast since I had no. Here, here, and then we have a new robe. Apparently, it is of the same quality as mine. We should go to the room requirements so we can figure out what this is. That's one of the important things. I'm going to change our appearance back to. The Super Raven Claw. But let's go to the map. And we should go to the Hogwarts map. Because it should be around here somewhere. Alright. We'll go over here. Now he's transport a little bit, get us closer. And then how... How do I fly? No, not a double jump. That's just magic. Rebellion. That's that. That's that. Hmm. How do I fly on my own accord? The most I've ever been able to find. Oh, Black hasn't cancelled it. Well, we're already here, so maybe it'll hey teach you. Me. Ravenclaw. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school, but it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Made it. Brilliant. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, we're 
Start getting a little push there. The angle is a little odd. This flying game. Did it. Some of these it looks like I'm actually gonna pass. Hopefully, the first time trial, this is a fairly generous. <laughs> now that's more like it. Fairly generous time. I bet there's people that have actually. Good. I've got this. Okay. Nice. But there's people that have hit every single boost and gotten that crazy fast. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh. Fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. Oh. Okay. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Well, I'm third place. If I hadn't have missed that, uh... That particular event, I would be uh, second. But for first place, it'll take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, Hogsmeade. Oops, wrong one. And I need to go all the way back here. Something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to... Okay. 
second. So now we can go do other things, but I want to go to the room of requirements. We need to go meet with Professor Weasley. Let's go to the map. Returning to Hogwarts. Which one is which? Um, maybe this one? Maybe I should have gone to the astrology one. Seemingly so. Revelio. Oh, it's kind of halfway up. Professor Weasley. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble Rebellion. upon the room entirely by accident. If Ooh, ever, I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. Oh. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh, this one's a uh, fancy. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Alright, let's assign new spells. And I want to find this one right there. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I already have a bunch of moons still. Where in Please Merlin's tell me name what is that elf? Before. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. <laughs> I 
can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <sighs> Dear me. Revelio. Some of us are trying to rest. Oh. Hold on. Accio. Levioso. Got it. Accio. Did I goof it up? How much I actually... Uh... There we go. Slide down. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Revelio! An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> hmm. Oh, can I? I can. That's funny. Self managed to get around it here. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Accio. Hmm. Revelio. Let's check over here. one back. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, I've got it. It was completely useless. I'm just going to sell it. Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Yikes! Care 
careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One can always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Revelio. No, it allows us to reveal the one that we have. And it's garbage. Sad thing. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Alright, so I'm going to speak with Professor Weasley. I'd like to get my potion. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Even more magic today. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. 
You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. All right, so I need to assign this guy. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I could change the color. I kind of like the black. Oh, I can do multiple of them. There we go. I'll actually make this one blue. Oh, sorry. Black as well. It kind of looks nice. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or oh, outside yeah, the castle description. grounds. There's other variants. Actually, what's... Okay, I just have the small potting table, but there's medium and large. Composters, chopping stations, and over here we have chopping pots. Do I have any furniture? Nope, I got nothing else. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Uh, I would. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Um, I think I already I have, have the it. moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? All right, let's get the floor. Do one of these. Yeah, like the scientific one. Then we have wall hangings. We have a mirror. Okay, I don't really see a need for the mirror right now. It's not fancy. Decorations though. guys artwork the 
gazing wizard portraits. Let's go with the Dapper Wizard. Okay, now let's get rid of it later if we want. And then last but not least, well, not last but not least, but we can get a chair. A scientific chair over here. Which is now the time to say that. I get statues, seasonal decor. What? Oh. Tables. Oh. We might move that chair. I think we actually have to place down a chair once again. There we go. Excellent. Oh, conjure wall decorations. I need to do. Really? I need to do that many. Okay, well, we can do that. Oh, well, let's get the Niffler up. Well, let's go ahead and look at a few of these hangings. everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Oh my gosh, this one is pretty intense. Item and perform the altering spell. What? I, oh, I can adjust the size of an item.
Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Do we like the other ones better? No, I don't want that one. This one's kind of cool, though. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Okay. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely Alrighty. That way we don't have any. <laughs> there we go. We'll plant that so we can make potions. And if I look at my potion station, we could make a maximum potion. Let's go ahead. And go ahead and do it. That's cool. But we have now learned how to fly. We got a bunch of new spells. Uh, we bought the potions so we can actually get the second spell um, dispel so from the potions professor. And we've set up our room requirement, which is an amazing space. So we can come back here anytime we want. Um, hopefully we'll find the upgrades. There we go. I assume some will take longer than others, but I uh, assume we'll get larger stations to plant more plants. We just have more and more stuff to do. And now we can reveal clothing. Nothing to identify, for now at least. That we find around. And we do have the, uh, the flu. But uh, if you guys uh, like the video, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. Next time, we'll probably figure out what to do with... Uh, with more questing, probably do this one. Um, oh, we can use a Confringo. So we're gonna learn that, learn a curse with Sebastian. Interesting. So yeah, we'll continue with this, but 
as I said, we'll do that next time. So, so long, Dr. Munchkin, signing out.